Hey, what's up everyone? If you haven't heard already, Marvel's Avengers has partnered with 5gum to offer exclusive rewards. Basically, every pack of 5gum contains a code that can be redeemed on the official Marvel's Avengers website and will grant you specific rewards. I should also mention that it looks like this promotion is only available in the US and Germany currently. But in this video, I'll walk you through how to redeem it, as well as what the rewards are and how much you should expect to pay to get all the rewards. If you're interested in the Avengers themes, I'll have all of those at the end of the video so you can get a sense of those too. But anyway, let's get started. So if you already have a code, you'll just go to the Square Enix Marvel's Avengers website and hit redeem in the header, which will bring you to this page. Click the 5 logo in the partnership promotions area, then click begin your journey now. From here, you'll just enter in your code with dashes, and it will redeem your reward. But let's focus on this page for a bit and discuss the rewards. As you can see, there are 8 different rewards, which are nameplates, Square Enix membership points, an artifact, Marvel Insider points, in-game units, PlayStation avatars, a Miss Marvel emote, and PlayStation themes. I think a lot of us originally expected the codes to be a lottery system where you never know what you're going to get, but instead the rewards are sequential. So basically, 8 packs of gum will get you all the rewards. I bought mine at Walmart and it was like $3.24 for a pack of 3, so to get all the rewards you're looking at roughly 10 bucks in gum. A couple of these rewards are PlayStation exclusive too, so unless you want the Miss Marvel emote, you could stop after 5 packs if you're on Xbox or PC. But let's take a moment and look at each reward for their details. The first one you'll get is nameplates, one for each hero. I think they look pretty cool, especially Captain America's which has Falcon in the background. I checked to see if they unlocked within the beta, but they didn't for me, so unless I missed something, it looks like these in-game rewards won't be available until the full game's release. When you unlock the Square Enix members points, they'll reward you with 20 points. You might already have 50 points for making a Square Enix members account, or you might even get rewarded by making an account now, I'm not sure, but there is one Avengers reward you can claim in their store if you have 70 points now, and that is this Iron Man fig pin. I'm not sure if more rewards will be added on later or not, but I might just get it just because I have the reward points available. The third unlock is a little bit more exciting, and that is an equipable artifact. Its description reads, Based on Captain America's statue in Hero Park, this legendary artifact is a memento for any hero to reflect upon. Once equipped and activated, the Talisman of Splendor provides a unique visual flourish that any player can show off. To me, this artifact sounds like it's more of a visual change and won't really help you in combat, or at least that's my assumption. It also sounds like the artifact is Cap's statue, and I'm really curious to see what the visual flourish is in the game, but I'll definitely try this out when the full game releases. After this, you get 50,000 Marvel Insider points, which you can redeem on their website. I've redeemed it myself, but I haven't really utilized Marvel Insider much. However, the 50,000 points does seem pretty substantial compared to other rewards. Then you get 150 units. The description states that you can use these units to buy cosmetics in the full game, so these should be pretty handy, although I'm not sure how far 150 will get you. Then we have our first PlayStation exclusive reward, which are the avatars or profile picks. If you're a PlayStation user, you should find these pretty cool. I certainly did because there aren't really any Marvel avatars on PlayStation besides a couple Spider-Man ones. When you follow the redemption instructions on PlayStation, you can download these immediately, which is what I did, and set my avatar to Captain America. The same goes for the PlayStation themes that we will discuss in a moment. But before that is the Miss Marvel bubble blowing emote. I think it's a little lame to have this emote after the PlayStation exclusive reward, since it forces Xbox and PC players to use a code on a reward that they can't have. But anyway, the emote does sound kind of neat. We don't get to see it in action, but the description mentions that it is inspired by Kamala's premiere comic cover, which should be this one. So I would expect the emote to look somewhat similar to her pose on this cover. Although the small image we do get to see looks different, so maybe the bubble pops and this is her reaction to it. But last and certainly not least, the reward I was most interested in is the PlayStation theme, and you actually get like 7 of these, one for each Avenger and one of them as a group. Each one is pretty cool too, with some minor movement within the scene like the fog rolling or lightning cascading around Thor's hammer. I like the music too, and I'll probably swap between these pretty regularly. I know a lot of people are saying they like these better than the PS4 pre-order theme, which I can kind of see why, although I still enjoy the pre-order theme too. So those are all of the rewards. Do I feel like they were worth my $10? Yeah, I'd say so, primarily for the PS4 avatars and themes though. 
If you aren't playing on PS4, then it might be more of a toss-up, although I do plan on trying out the Artifact, Nameplates, and Miss Marvel emote. Also, at the bottom of the rewards page is a statement which tells us to watch out for more info coming soon, which makes me wonder if they might do another similar promotion to this later on. I wouldn't be opposed to it because I actually like the promotion and most of the rewards, so we'll see what happens. But if you're curious about each individual PS4 theme, I'll let those all play through now so you can get a sense of how they look, sound, and differ. If you're not interested in the themes, the video is pretty much done at this point, and I thank you for watching. If you're sticking around, here are the themes. 